What's up everybody, it's Morbid. Uh, today I set out to do something crazy. I was like, you know what, I haven't done anything crazy for a while, so the thing I was gonna do first today was uh, fly at a construction site um, where they have a newly constructed building. It's all open on the inside. It was gonna be cool. I got there, there was people working there, so that was a no-go. Uh, then I set out to do, fuck it, a long-range flight um, at the tallest hill in the town that I was in at the time. And um, this happened. And as you can see, that sucked. That quad fell a long way. Um, once it hit the ground, I lost video. Uh, I still had a crossfire connection though, so there was hope. And I'm not gonna leave my quad or a GoPro in the wilderness. So I went and got it. And watch this video and see how it all unfolded. All right, well, my plans are shot. There's people working in the building here. It would have been awesome. Maybe I'll try like on a Sunday or something, but you know, as time goes by, it's going to be harder to fly in there. It won't be as open. This crow's loving it. But uh, I set out to do something crazy today, so let's go find crazy. And one crazy thing I might want to try is... See that hill way over there? Can I reach the top of it? And or lose my quad? Dude, calm down. Well, I'm going to go drive over there and see if it's possible. I've looked around over there before. And I don't really know if I could find a spot that would be cool to take off and land from because it's kind of like neighborhoods at the base of it. But whatever, let's go check it out. Okay, I think I found like an okay spot maybe to take off from and hit up this hill right here. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. On the kind of near the middle top of it, there's a lot of electrical. So I'm just going to... See if I could just reach the top. I'm not going to really try to dive bomb down the hill or anything like that just because those electrical lines are pretty sketchy, I think. So, let's just see.
holy shit. Well, I set out to do something crazy. This is the craziest. Probably got poison ivy or oak or something now. Fuck. Son of a bitch. That was fucking nuts. Holy fuck, look at that. I'm way down there. It's gonna be fun carrying you down the hill, buddy. All right, well, this was officially hella crazy. God damn it, probably just gonna go home now, whoa. So I got a dangerous trip back down. Hopefully I can find a easier way than I did going up because I found this trail, but I didn't take this trail up. So hopefully it just goes down. It's a lot easier because what I, went up where I went up was really steep and I was slipping I seriously can't believe I fucking found it look at this all this and I found it found you bro fuck yeah leave no quad behind oh shit it's, it's, uh, I don't know if I should try to film this walk back Let's see. Oh my god. Okay, this is officially the craziest recovery ever for me. So, I mean, here's a lesson. If you want to do some long range stuff, you got to be prepared to fucking do what I just did. It's not cool. But, I'm holding my quad in my hand. It's my only success build. I love this guy. I don't know what happened. Um, just lost control for no reason as far as I know. I didn't get any warning or anything. Just flipped out. Uh, could be interference, who knows. Sucked, because I was having a really nice time, as you saw in the video. Starting to get the feel of it. But that's the end of that. I did accomplish the one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to, ooh, I wanted to reach the top of that hill. Can't even see it right now. Oh, I did. I reached it. Um, Let's not do crazy long range stuff until I upgrade my uh, crossfire. But again, I didn't really see any reason why it lost control. Um, really sucks. It's real pretty out here though. Ooh, doggy. Can't believe I have you. This is crazy. And you look like you're okay too. Oh yeah, X Labs Brap in the tank. You saw the fall. As far as I could see, this thing is fine. It landed in some bushes, which is good, but the height it fell from, that's the farthest I've ever seen a quad fall from. It took a long time to hit the ground. All right, we're making our way down here now. Probably want to stop recording. We'll see. Dear Lord, fucking crazy. Oh yeah, you were lost up there, buddy. I came and saved you. And so, just so you guys know, the way I found this quad was, you know, I, I constantly had a green on my crossfire, so I knew the battery was still plugged in. I kept getting uh, connection errors, like critical low and stuff like that. So I knew it was plugged in. Oh. Yeah, so I knew it was plugged in. Um, so I brought my transmitter and my goggles with me, you can see. Uh, I used basically my goggles to find it. Um, once I got high enough up, I just kept looking at the video and eventually I saw something try to phase in. I just kept turning my head and I saw a lock, so I knew I was close. Um, 
kept trying to use the beeper. I didn't hear it. Um, I armed it a couple times and I heard that um, when I armed it and gave it like pitch and roll. I heard some bushes moving around. So I just kept going in that direction. But the end result of what helped me find this guy was the model finder in the um, Immersion RC. Things fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, when you're close to your model, it'll beep real fast and almost turn into a solid beep when you're super close. So I found this fucker. Oh man. Whew, I got my exercise for the day. Oh, this fucking blows. Looks like I'm gonna end up on another street than what I'm on. I'm like way over there. Oh Jesus. All right, so I'm continuing to be stupid by filming and walking, but we'll see. Oh Lord. Well, like I said, we set out to do something crazy today and uh, I don't think I've done anything this crazy, so thumbs up, I guess. Nah. Squad looks fine though. It um, looks like it's all together in one piece. I don't see anything cracked or anything, as far as I can tell. Like, super lucky the battery stayed plugged in because it was ejected. But because of the bushes it landed in, it didn't really have anywhere to shoot out at. It was just smushed up against a bunch of plants. Oh, okay. All right. Well, man, I had to hike a long way, and I'm gonna hike down now. I'm not gonna film the rest of this, so Whew. that's all I gotta say. Or I gotta go home. I'm probably gonna take my pants off just in case. Uh, you know, maybe there's like poison oak or something or whatever. So I'm just gonna take them off just in case and drive home and then go take a shower and stuff. So crazy accomplished. What's up, everybody? I made it back home. Um, I had to take my pants off as a precaution, uh, just in case I, I don't know what I was stomping around in, you know, I might get like poison oak or something. A gross thing that happened is I was driving and I felt my neck tingling or something and I was like, oh, is that sweat? Because, I mean, I got baked in that sun. That was the craziest hike I've done ever, probably. Um, I looked in the mirror, I didn't see anything. Um, it started feeling weirder and weirder. I looked in the mirror again, right in the middle of my neck, there was a fucking like caterpillar thing or something right here, this guy. It was pretty gross. Uh, yeah, that thing was just crawling on me. So, that's that.